One really common question that we get from aspiring medical school students is, how many medical schools should I apply to? You might feel like you would maximize your chances by applying to as many schools as possible, and that's a completely understandable perspective, but unfortunately it's not the one that's ultimately in your best interest. So that's what I'll be talking about today. First, hi, my name is Dr. Sarah Klebe, and I'm an admissions expert with BMO. For all the time and money that you would spend applying to every medical school that you can, you could actually be working much more strategically and maximizing your chances at schools where you have a realistic chance of getting in, places where your application is going to be the most competitive. So asking the question, how many medical schools should I apply to, isn't necessarily the best attitude and it's not the best question to ask at this stage of your education. Um, it's not the best for you and your own peace of mind, and it's not the best way to put forward your most strategic efforts. There isn't any magical number of applications that's going to work for everyone. If it were that easy to game the system, <laughs> then a lot more people would have figured it out by now. Um, instead, you need to do some research about each school and program and apply to schools that make the most sense for you. So you can de determine this by considering three categories. First, data, uh, which is to say each school's admission statistics, the institutional purpose of the school, and your own learning needs. So first, data. You'll need to look at each school's admissions requirements and statistics about previously admitted students and then compare these to your own qualifications. So this means looking at your MCAT score versus the school's median accepted MCAT as well as the spread of accepted MCAT scores, uh, your own GPA versus the median accepted GPA, what your prerequisites are, have you completed all of the necessary coursework for that particular program, um, and things like in-state or in-province versus out-of-state slash out-of-province status. Most schools will show preference to those students within their own state or province. So it's kind of an unpleasant reality, but you need to bear in mind at this stage that they're looking for reasons to exclude applicants more so than reasons to include applicants. Um, we just have to look at medical school admissions rates to uh, understand this very clearly. Every cycle, thousands of students apply for a relatively small, small number of spots, and those application reviewers' shortlists need to, need to be established very quickly. So if there's a reason to set an application aside, they're likely going to. So those numbers, that core key data, is really important. Next you need to think about the institutional purpose of the school. Look at their mission statement, including any priority student categories they might have. For example, if they're looking to prioritize students from rural areas and you are not from a rural area or have no experience in rural areas, then it doesn't necessarily make sense for you to apply. Um, consider your own experiences, extracurriculars, uh, volunteer activity, uh, the research that you've done, shadowing that you've done, do these things stack up when compared to those accepted in the previous cycle? Next, you need to think about your own learning needs. Um, as you start narrowing your search and creating a short list, you need to look at the actual curriculum, look at the school's prioritized teaching and learning styles, um, the advisory and mentorship opportunities that exist, all of these components of the edu educational experience uh, need to be examined to ensure that they align with your own needs. Not all medical programs operate identically, and education isn't a one-size-fits-all endeavor. At this point in your education, you know your needs and your strengths better than anyone else, and it doesn't necessarily make sense to pursue a school that can't support you and your educational needs effectively. So all of this means that ultimately the answer to the question, how many medical schools should I apply to, is going to be different for everyone. Um, it's not a question with a simple universalizable answer. Quite the opposite, it's highly individualized. The point is to apply only to those schools where you have a realistic chance of gaining acceptance. So 
Instead of asking how many medical schools should I apply to, ask how many medical schools could I realistically gain admission to? Ultimately, a manageable shortlist is one that contains no more than eight to 10 schools. Only schools that have, or only the only schools that should be on your list are the ones uh, that you have a realistic chance of getting into instead of spreading yourself way too thin unnecessarily. Yes, this takes some initial work and research, but there isn't any way of sugarcoating it. Applying to medical school is a lot of work, regardless of how you do it. At this stage, with all the pressing commitments that you likely already have, all the work you already need to do, you need to ensure that you're working purposefully, intelligently, and pragmatically. And casting the widest possible net is none of these, and usually amounts to more work in the long run. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If so, please do go ahead and like it, share it with a friend who might benefit from it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and look for us on a variety of other social media platforms. Do feel free to comment with any questions you might have. If you'd like us to help you out with your application and school selection, please click the link that should appear either above or below this video to see our programs and schedule a free initial consultation. We'll set you up with one of our admissions experts and answer any questions that you might have and get you started with your preparations. We have programs to suit any of your needs and we are happy to work with you to determine which plan is going to support you most effectively. As ever, thank you so very much for your time. Take good care, and I'll see you next time.